Welcome to the Better Off Bonus Call of the Week. We are sponsored by Betterment, the largest independent online financial advisor. And remember, this is your opportunity to air any question that's on your mind. It can be retirement. It could be investment. Maybe it's taxes. Maybe it's a real estate question. Whatever. Give us a holler. Let us know how we can help. Our email address, askjill at betteroffpodcast.com. Ask Jill at betteroffpodcast.com. Today, we've got Diane. She's on the line from Indiana. Hello, Diane. How can I help you? Um, hi, Jill. Well, I have a couple of questions that I need some advice on. Um, the first deals with my mother and her financial um, portfolio. Mm-hmm. And the second one deals with me. So, Okay, let's do, mom, let's do mom first. Tell me about mom. <laughs> Um, My father passed away about five years ago, and he was a man who worked his whole life to build a portfolio. Uh, He had a little over a million dollars when he died, and my mom, not knowing what to do with it, put it with a financial advisor. So in the past four and a half years, um, it has done a cumulative 10%. Hold on. Was she taking money out? Are you including that? I, we have that calculated. He talked her into putting some additional money in, and actually, she had like she has some investments like in Vanguard and some other places. So she has about seven hundred and fifty thousand with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have calculated for taking money out and okay. money that she put back in. So the closest we can come to is that it's about ten and a half percent cumulative over four and a half years. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, for these yeah. four and a half years, was it very? I know. Was she saying to him? Don't take any risk, or was there no. was there no instruction like that? He has it invested in about 50, 50, uh, 50 bonds and bond funds, fifty mm. equities. Hmm. Um, in two thousand seventeen, she netted three and a half percent with him. That is bizarre. Yeah, well, he claims that he's wonderful. I he actually talked me into putting money with him too, and after four years of making nothing. And mine was invested aggressively. Um, I took my money out. Um, I don't get it. What's he investing in? I mean, it's just, I mean, the reason why I say you have to be kind of a a donkey not to do better than that, especially last year. What what, what are the investments? Well, for the first several years, it was in DFA, Dimensional Funds of America. And uh, Dimensional Fund Advisors, and those are great funds. Yes. And I don't, I, I don't dispute the philosophy behind them, but when they kept not making any money, and he would argue, but they're beating the benchmark, my response was, but then your portfolio mixes are not set up right because they should be making money. And he, you know, argued, we argued that argument for a few years, and then I finally pulled money out. But then a year ago, he switched to where he's now buying and selling strictly Stocks and daily managing stocks. Uh oh. How do you, how does he get paid? Uh, he is fee based. He claims he is a fiduciary. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I say he's selling stocks, he, he changed companies so that he no longer handles mutual funds at all. They do daily management of buying stocks and bonds. No how, mutual funds. My goodness. Um, and how much does he charge for this service? Um, about 1.2%, I think is what she's paying. I don't get why. So your mom just went along with him or? He had done a, he's actually an attorney, um, who I guess wasn't making enough money selling trust. So he started doing financial advising too. So she had her trust with him. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is so sketchy. I know. This is know. so I sketchy. Agree. So I what? Agree. So how are we going to get mom to get out of this arrangement? What have What have I you think, tried so far? Well, I, I've just been talking. I mean, I've and the, the fact that I ha- had money with him, and I can show her how mine made nothing and hers is making nothing, and I've talked to her over and over again about how she should be, and I've shown her what we've made. Um, so recently, I, I pulled up some. Vanguard um, target retirement income fund account that she could safely put money in. Mm-hmm. I told her that she could at least pull half the money out. Mm-hmm. 
and move it to a Vanguard managed account where they're charging 0.3% yep. to manage it. But she's, she says, number one, she's afraid. She doesn't think she can do it herself. And well, she doesn't have to. I mean, let's play. You're going to play this call back for her, I hope. But she doesn't have to, because if she does, uh, if she uses Vanguard, they'll do it for her. Maybe one thing that's important to remind her if she's uh, unwilling, not unwilling, but she's hesitant to make changes. And I understand that. Maybe one thing to say is that, you know, simply by moving over will essentially save about one percent of your portfolio every year, you know, or. 7500 uh-huh. or 10 grand which is like real money mom and you can use that. Does she need this money to live on? No, not unless she's 85. Um she her earnings are probably about 75,000 a year counting her social securities and everything and she lives probably on 30,000 a year. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, she has, you know, she doesn't need the money and that's what she says, I don't care. I don't care if it makes anything or not. I can't manage it myself. I don't care. I know that she doesn't care. That's like, I know, I get that. Like, she doesn't want to deal. But on the other hand, how can we guilt her into this? I'm just trying to think about this. Well, I have tried to tell her that my dad, who came from nothing, spent his life trying to build a legacy for his family and to take care of her. And because I am the um, custodian or the executor of her trust and everything, I feel a responsibility to my dad's legacy. That's pretty good. But I mean, that's a pretty still, good guilt trip, and she doesn't yeah. respond to it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, I mean, if she, you can only do what you can do, there, right? I mean, there's only so much you can do, but I do think that maybe just saying to her that, you know what, let's just go talk to somebody else. Humor me, Mom. Just humor me. Let's do this together. I mean, if you even if you don't care, do you care that $10,000 is being thrown out the window every year? That should catch her attention. She doesn't. I've told her that. My best bet is recently I've been saying at least take some of the money out. If you take half of the money out, you're paying him half. Yeah, and do that. You still and what? And did she respond to that or not? She is. She's actually meeting with him as we speak, um, and she is talking about maybe taking a hundred thousand out. Hey, look. You know what? Out. Let me just say this. Even if it were a hundred thousand, it's a start. So yeah. as long as you can get that party started, I think that okay. that would really be important for you guys because, okay. I mean, you don't have a lot of power in this. I interviewed this guy. He's a wealth psychologist. He really gets brought in in family dynamic situations like this one. And I said to him, what's the best advice you can give when I get a caller who says that, like, mom or dad just won't do it? And he said, baby steps. And if you can okay. start small, I think that that baby step could really help you. Uh, you have siblings? Is it just you? I have siblings. I have three other siblings. Yeah. I mean, if, if they could not gang up on her, but at least echo what you're saying in terms of like, just do something small. Let's see how it does. Like, let's make a comparison. Like, we all think this is, you don't care, but we care. And if this is for us, then like, let, uh, and our kids, then your grandkids, then, you know, let's all be in it together. And see if that yeah. works. I mean, look, again, she's going to do what she wants to do. But if a baby oh. step can help, I don't know. Maybe that's the way to go. Okay. That sounds like good advice. Okay. That's a wrap of our Better Off bonus question of the week. If you've got a question, it's simple. Send us an email at askjill at betteroffpodcast.com. We'll arrange to get you on. And don't forget, in just a couple of days, there's a brand new episode of the Better Off Podcast sponsored by Betterment. Talk to you then. Bye.